Hi YouTube, it's Lena and I'm here today with my finished 16 and 2016 finale. I will link my intro and my first update down below. Now I had initially picked out 16 particular lipsticks and lip glosses. I did not put any lip balms or lip liners in this and I regret that. If I was doing this again this year, I would definitely have done, would do that. I'm not, but that's because I have lip products picked out in enough other projects that I don't really need this. But I decided at my first update that as long as I finished 16, they were gonna count. I finished 17, which I am really, really proud of because it was hard. Actually, no, wearing makeup is not hard, don't get me wrong, but I wish I could have worn more over my collection rather than concentrating quite as much as I did. But I am really proud of what I used up. Now, some of these had a lot of progress on them before the year started, but honestly, the majority of these I used up most of the way from full this year so i'm not gonna knock it so i'm just gonna go down my list show you what i did and i didn't finish up and tell you when i finished up because i write dates by mine all right so rhubarb i finished this i finished this on march the 14th it is done um mine in winterberry i finished on hey, God, they're hard to get off. I finished this on the 16th of March and it is done. In Sable, I finished June the 8th. This is the one that I really, really wish that they made this in the normal line, but they don't because it's that really pretty pink nude color. Please excuse my dog. She is apparently thirsty. I, <coughs> excuse me. I did not get to use mine in, what is this color? Pomegranate. But after I finish up another one in here that I didn't finish this year that's in a project pan, I'm going to use this up. I don't care that it's not technically in anything. This is now two years old. It still smells fine. I rolled it up. There's no weird things on it or anything like that, but it needs to be used up like yesterday. So I did finish my Buxom Lip Gloss and Zoe on June 28th. I'm not one to take out stoppers in lip gloss because they get really messy. The only times I do it are, I will show you the one particular reason that I do it for one set, but other than that, I don't do that. Let's see. Whew. Okay, the Little Star Looks Lip Gloss and Guilty Pleasure. I finished this on February 10th. There was barely anything in it. I think I did take out the stopper in that just to get a little bit more out. The Bite Lipstick in Palomino I have barely used. Another one that I need to get on the ball with. I'm hoping as long as this is still fine by spring that I will use it up then. It still smells good and everything. They don't make this formula anymore. This is the, what were they called? Luminous Cream Finishes. But the shade Kimchi in the new line is really close to this if you really like it. It's a little more bright pink, but other than that, they're pretty much the same damn thing. Let's see, the Bite Lip Gloss in Strange Fruit, I did finish. I think I took the stopper out of this. This needs to be set aside because it does not need to be thrown away. My Makeup Forever Lips, okay, I finished that one on August the 18th. This Makeup Forever Lipstick in N9, I finished November the 3rd and I'm glad I finished this because this is starting to smell strange. I had to wear lip gloss over it because it kind of stunk. I think it might have been starting to turn but I finished it so that's what matters. Let's see my NARS lip pencil in Cruella is still hanging on but I have used up quite a bit of it. Probably at least a third so still working on that. Mo what do you want? Sorry, my dogs are being weird and extra needy right now and I'm not sure what their deal is. <laughs> I think they just want to go to bed. Let's see. I need to hold on to this. I finished my MAC Maleficent lip gloss in Anthurium on September the 11th. Not the greatest day to, but you know. This one I used up. Let's see. My Urban Decay Lipstick and Gash. This is what I'm going to try to use up before the bite one. It is in a project pan. 
It has gotten some use, but it is not done. And I have two of these, so I really need to get on the ball. And these are the old formula too, so I really need to get a move on. Actually, I don't need to put that over there. It can stay over here. Let's see. Um, the Hourglass Lip Gloss in Child. Of course I did that. It's empty. I did pull the stopper out of that because I really like that. If I really like it, I'll pull the stopper out of it anyway, from what I can tell. All right, let's see. The Laura Mercier Lip Gloss and Blush, I actually decluttered because there was nothing wrong with it. I'm just going to give it to my sister. I was not excited to use it, so I figured during that big declutter that there's still one more that needs to go up of as I'm filming this. It was a big ass declutter, guys. I sat there and filmed for like almost two hours straight, but I decided to just let that one go. Let's see. Um, the Bare Minerals Gloss, I did finish. I can't, there's a little bit at the bottom, but I can't get it out, so I'm not gonna work on it. But I did finish that. That was actually my 17th one. I finished the Hourglass on June the 6th, and I finished the Bare Minerals on December the 27th. Let's see, the Bare Minerals Lipstick and Get Ready, I finished on August the 16th. Is that August? Yeah, that's August. There it is right there. This is way too creamy of a formula because this bastard broke off multiple times. The Tarte Lip Gloss, I decluttered to the same declutter. I'm also going to see if my sister wants that. The Tarte Lip Surgeons in Moody, I did try to use up, but it hung in there. And it's a little bit left. I'll see if I can finish it this year. I guess we'll see. And let's see. And the other things that I finished off in other product projects that I decided to add to this because there were lip products I finished. Damn it, they're going to count. <laughs> let's see. The NYX Lip Gloss in Apple Strudel. I finished August the 9th. It is done. The Revlon Lip Butter in Sugar Plum. I finished August the 23rd. It's dead. They discontinued this line, and that sucks. Because I really liked those. Let's see, the Miridus, what is this called again? I never remember. Viva Eternal Loss and Disco Diva. It's a squeezed tube that I hated. I finished September the 19th. The Buxom Lip Gloss in Trixie. I finished September the 15th. This is what it looks like. And finally, not finally, there was another one on here. Oh yeah. The Maybelline Color Whisper and Pop of Poppy. I finished February the 25th. It's dead. That makes me sad because it's so pretty. I'm gonna swatch it. Because it's so pretty, I must properly mourn its loss. They don't make these anymore either. I mean, this was a limited edition color anyway, but still, I really like these. There's just one of the few Maybelline formulas I can stand because to me they don't stink. Let's see, this should be on here too, but it's not. So I finished this Miraness Velvet Lip Lift in the shade 58 for my finish six by Christmas, but I don't know when because it's not written on here. So that's why it's 18 and not 17. And finally, I finished the Bourjois Shine Edition Lipstick in shade 24 Rose on December the 29th. So this was actually my final one. It is done. This is another one I will miss, but I can probably get this again if I really want to. Whew. So that's it. That's a lot of lipstick I finished. Like I said, it's awesome that I finished Apparently 18 lipsticks and lip glosses. A lot of them are minis, but several of them are full sizes too. So, all right, so that's it. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I do really appreciate it. And hopefully I will see you later. Bye.